Thanks for staying with us. Joining us now is the Minister for Science, Technology and Innovation, Senator Lauren Nibe Mamora. He'll be speaking on the science and technology drive of President Muhammad, Muhammad Buhari's uh, administration. He's also speaking to us on the ambition of Ashiraji Bola Metinumbu at some point. Welcome to the show, sir. It's good to have you. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Right. So in the last few months, we've been seeing quite a few things that, present, that the president has been doing, you know, almost like a recap of his administration. And we haven't heard, we haven't heard so much about what he's done in science and tech uh, and innovation at best. Could you just give us a summary in what, what your ministry has done, especially in this administration, and your plans in the next few months before he closes out? Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, to start with, uh, let me say Happy New Year to all of you. Thank and you, everybody sir. is looking radiant. And, thank, uh, you. <laughs> thank you, sir. So, um, you see, the first thing is to say that the mandate of the ministry, it takes its root from the Constitution itself. And when you look at the Constitution under fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy under Section 18 of the Constitution, Precisely subsection two, it says government shall promote science and technology. And uh, when you look at uh, science, technology, innovation, in all ramifications, you're looking at what is popularly known as smart everything now. Mm. Smartphone, mm -hmm. smart television, smart car, smart houses, and of course smart cities. Mm -hmm. And essentially what you're looking at is automation, yeah. if you like. That's the main thing. Irrespective of what your field is, right. you need automation to get things done faster, to get things done better, to uh, achieve bigger results. Now, we have our policies, uh, various policies that are in place uh, from which various uh, projects take their route as well. And of course, these policies are driven by the agencies on the the Federal Ministry of Science, Technology, and Innovation. We have um, 18 agencies, you know, and of course, mostly research institutes, research agencies, or research-based institutes. And, uh, you know, these are the, call it, the implementing mm. um, agencies right. for these various uh, okay. programs. We're still minister for of state for health yeah and so i will not really uh, drain you too much because i am not pleased i followed the work of the past minister for science technology and innovation right. until date i'm very displeased with him and his uh, you know the work because i know that industry that ministry is one that would spark the jobs that we're looking for i kept yeah. looking towards the solutions that will come mm. and you know i would have loved that he had a list of works of young Nigerians that were assisted by that ministry and that are doing internationally well. Because we see when they cross the border to somewhere else, yeah. something miraculous happens. Yes. So under, he, under this, I would not want to, I don't think it will be what? right right now. Or do you take over any such from him? Now, uh, my dear sister, please don't be displeased <laughs> with what. Uh, you see, there are times, you see, when you are there, there are some constraints that you need to find a way to get around. I just mentioned policies. For example, the major one, you have the science, technology, and innovation policy. And of course, policy itself is just a roadmap of things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. But you may have your constraints, maybe in terms of funding, maybe in terms of uh, even the, the, the systems around you and all that. But then, you still have to act. And you can't do these things alone. You still need this... Uh, um, partnership with our uh, private sector, with some even some other agencies, mm -hmm. in, you know, our ministries and uh, yeah. departments of yeah. governments to work together so that you can achieve. Okay. Then, even when you have, because there are, no, there are a lot of things that have been, uh, you know, inventions that, 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 that we, in various uh, areas, you know, in technology itself, in uh, ICT in uh, you know electricity generation power and all that you all these things are there but again all the various uh, inventions that have been made you don't really benefit from them until you take them to market mm -hmm. so there has to be that handshake okay. between the 
uh, research industry. Let's get and a few more questions in for you. Okay. So, so uh, there's this, um, what I'm hearing recently, because just like Nima says, the ministry isn't very front facing, but um, there's the science and technology parks that I've been hearing about recently. Yeah. I would like to understand what it means and what you think the impact will be on yes. you know, our country. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the mandates of Mr. President Turos, that is to develop science parks across the country. And uh, what we're doing is to start from one per each geopolitical zone. And we are working on, on, on that as we speak. So that we then expand. If we take one in each geopolitical zone, we can expand to one in each state. And then the federal capital territory, that will be 37. And then we can go on and that. But when we, you know, we came in in July, and I say we, uh, my colleague, Minister, Minister of State, and then myself. And then we looked at what we think we could do within the short space, you know, of time as it's left for us. Yeah. Yes. So we were looking at what we call a low-hanging fruit, mm -hmm. you know, that will give quick, I'm going. quick wins. The past minister was one of the longest serving. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. yes. So right, we are working on those parks. Is, is it parks, as the word says, where people mm -hmm. can gather. Good. Mm -hmm. And then you can have exchange of ideas. You mm -hmm. can have people coming in with their own issues, with their own uh, ideas. And then you develop what you have on right. the ground within the ambit of our own, own situation. Right. Okay, and so one on. of the biggest um, challenge that we faced in almost every industry is also bedeviling science and tech. And I don't even see how, no matter how amazing the ideas that you and the Minister for State for Science and Technology come up with, you're still going to deal with the poor electricity. You're going to deal with the fact that there are poor internet quality. You're going to deal with the fact that there is um, uh, most of our brightest minds, as soon as the ideas are ripe, they mm. are relocating. They are mm. on a jackpot spree. Mm. We're going to deal with the fact that there is poor funding for yeah. innovation within Nigeria. And yeah. the, there are countries where people, they are calling in talent and funding them. So yeah. I, I don't think that it is something within your ministry alone. So the question for me is, what are the key ministries you feel need to be up and doing for science and technology to thrive in Nigeria? I would say education, but what would you say would be mm. the other well, ministries that need to be effective? Well, you, you, you know, I've always argued that when you talk of human capital development, Two ministries are key, mm. education and health. Those are the two major ones. And I always argue that we should not put them on the same pedestal with other ministries. Yes, it's a situation of all animals are equal, but some are more equal. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Because you cannot develop an individual if that is not healthy. Sure. Or you, have, you, 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 you find it more difficult. So education is key. Good health is key. There are two major ones. But having said that, <coughs> particularly the issue, we, we have electric, Electricity um, Commission of Nigeria, ECN, mm. you know, that is one of the agencies on that. And uh, they are into a lot of uh, um, things in terms of uh, renew, renewable energy, mm -hmm. because that's what we are talking about now. Renewable energy, you talk of the solar, and, all. and there's a, a lot that's been done in that, in that regard. And of course, using other means, uh, the hydropower, the wind power, name it, mm. you know, and all that. So, because it's very key for everything, you need that power to drive the, okay. the whole thing.